Good morning. This message is for my mom. Wow, it's been a tough six months or a year. At first, I just wanted to apologize. Um, I was wrong. And you are the first person I have to apologize to. And the apology comes when I can forgive you and forgive myself and ask God for forgiveness for what happened. You see, it's always been the number three for me. And it's weird. Like, let me tell you why I'm apologizing to you and why I'm putting this video on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. Because I wouldn't be what I am today if it wasn't for you. Number one, I have to apologize to you because God made me realize I wouldn't be here on earth if it wasn't for you. You gave birth to me. You took care of me when I was little. Zero to seven or zero to nine, I don't remember. I do not remember at all. What you told me is what I know, and I have to thank you for that. It was very, very hard. Not that it's your fault, because I believe you did the best you could. So, number one, I want to apologize because you brought me into this world, and the things that I said about you... The things that I said about your daughter, my sister, my brother-in-law, and even my ex-wives, and uh, my religion, and Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed. That's the second person I need to apologize to. Like, you're our current leader based on the organization and the community we're in. And honestly, I wrote to you and wrote some nasty letters. <laughs> in my innocence and in my inner child. So mom, I apologize to you. Hazur, I apologize to you. And then with that, I would like to apologize to my children, Amaya. Amaya, you're number three. But Amaya, you're actually number one because you are the one who got me started. We had an altercation, something happened. I got upset. I yelled at you. I got mad at you. Then I got emotional, and from there I went downhill for a little bit. So Mom, Hazur, and Amaya, you three I will always be grateful for. So thank you. And Amaya, I'm sorry. I know it's your birthday today, and it's unfortunate that we're not able to spend time together. And I get a little emotional because... As a father, you see the love you have for your children and your mother and your community, nothing can replace it. You see, Maya, you made me cry. My mom and Azur, I love them. God bless them. But they're older. They've, they've done what they were supposed to do. They taught us. Amaya, you, Ambreen, and Noor are the th three things that I leave behind. Yeah, honestly, when I'm gone, all the material that I put up on my website, on my blog, on my Instagram, all the fun that I have, this is just for you guys. And I hope and pray one day you're able to enjoy your dad and you're able to see that your dad always apologized and he apologized from his heart when he knew he was wrong and then he asked for forgiveness he asked for, for forgiveness on your birthday Maya and he sent a message to everybody because it's easier there's only 9 or 10 people that are important Maya your mom always comes first which is marrying for you Number two is your leader, the, the, the person 
that's here to lead your organization. Whether you like it or not, that's the path you chose. And above those two is God. That's it. That's your creator. My advice to you is, as I apologize, listen to your mom, listen to your 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 prophet and your Khalifa and your Hazur, but learn to discern and learn to understand what it is that, is that they're teaching you and how do you feel in your heart? See, Maya, right now I'm apologizing to my mom, to Hazur, to you, to Noor, to Ambreen, to your mom, Marine, to Nadia, Noor's mother, to Asma, Adam's mom, Aisha's mom, to Nicole, Layla, Mike, Omer, my sister. That's it, nine, ten people. To my friends, community, neighborhood, like everyone else is, is, is on the outside. We hardly interact. So the nine or ten people that I interact with the most are the ones that I want to apologize to. So on your birthday, Amaya, almost six months later, I'm able to go in my heart and apologize. So mom, I'm sorry. Hazur, I'm sorry. Amaya, I'm sorry. Marine, Nadia, Asma, Ambreen, Noor, Omer, Sis. That basically covers everybody that's very close to me. I have a few friends and Nicole. Nicole's very important because Nicole woke me up. She's very, very, very important. And Layla. They had to put up with my anger. See, where mom gave up, where Hazur gave up, where Amaya, you gave up. Amreen and Noor are different. They don't really care. They're different souls. Your mom gave up, Amaya. Nadia gave up. Asma gave up. And it's almost like where I gave up, too. But in all of this, I'll tell you, God never gives up. So, <laughs> this is a little bit of a rant, but you know, that's an honest apology because I can go into my inner child. See, when I look up, I'm downloading and I'm visualizing. But when a person looks down, like for me, it's different. Like I'm processing and I'm trying to figure out if I'm telling the truth or not. And I guess the best apology is an apology from the heart where you ask for forgiveness to everybody and then you also forgive everybody else and you let them know I take my power back and I take my control. I apologized. I said I'm sorry. I've forgiven you. I pray that you forgive me but I can't control that, right? But the best part is I can just ask God and I can say, Father, Mother, my real mom and dad that put me here, that are invisible to me, that I cannot see physically, but that I can feel in my heart. I ask them for forgiveness. So that's the number three for me. Look, if you ask mom and dad, your real mom and dad for forgiveness, and then you forgive yourself, and then you forgive others, that's four ways you're forgiving people. Whether Amaya forgives me or not, whether Marine forgives me or not, whether Asma or Nadia forgive me or not is irrelevant. Because you can move on with your life and you can achieve your goals and your path and still love them and still hold space for them. Because at the end of the day, you realize like we're all praying to the same God. We're all <laughs> going to go to the same place when we die. And it's beautiful. So I hope you take this apology. I've kept it under 10 minutes. And now it's up to you. You can comment, you can like, you can share, you can keep in touch. It's up to you. I'm here. I love you guys.